hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and as you can see we have a nice day today in ireland but the thing is that we expecting rain as you can see is a bit of drizzle, drizzle that um, just started now so we're expecting rain just around five o'clock um, we will be having kind of like a storm um, so that will start from five and it will last and uh, over saturday and to into sunday uh, so what I've um, done is I've brought in the cockatiel's eggs and I've kept them into the incubator because even uh, last night as well it was getting a bit uh, chilly, you know, it was getting a bit cold so I just felt that they weren't sitting enough on the eggs. Um, I'm not 100% sure like I said on the eggs and how far along they've gone but uh, I've brought them into the incubator and we'll see within a week or so and uh, how far they have gone. So let's head into the incubator. So guys, we're heading into the incubator and as you can see the eggs I've brought in from uh, the cockatiels and the love but usually I would mark them uh, but this time I didn't because I was, I was getting scared you know I said let me just bring them in I'm not 100% sure if they are fertile but we will check back in within a week or so and see how far along they've gone. So this incubator um, I've gotten from sorry I've just gotten this from uh, Amazon. Uh, it's very good uh, uh, incubators as well. You have to fill it up on the bottom uh, with the water so it will work. This is the fan that will actually help it to. Um, and then there's a temperature setting as well. So the, these are the roller pins so they, they move as, um, as you can see. They, are the, they will turn the eggs for you so you don't have to do it manually yourself. And as you can see. Okay, my fingers are a bit dirty. I was just busy with the shed today. Um, I was trying to sort a lot of things out in the shed. So um, that's why my hands are a bit dirty, but don't mind that, guys. So I will leave them here and uh, I keep filling the, um, the water compound here, which is over here. I will fill it up uh, with water. So more or less, sometimes it's twice a day. I will fill it up with water. It depends on, you know, how the incubator works and the temperature as well. Like outside can be cold and then the temperature will kind of rise within the incubator and that will require me to put more water into the incubator. Okay guys, so I'll keep you updated anyway next week on this one here. I'm going to take you in and let's go and see the mamas and papas. Okay guys, so this is our indoor one that we've kept as a pet. And um, as you can see, she's sitting comfortably. She just keeps making so much noise. She wants to come outside to the other birds. Usually in the morning when um, I'm awake and I open the door, um, the other birds will be making a noise, you know, and she would also start to scream. Um, so she's usually uh, just near my kitchen side, so she can hear them loud and clear, and her voice is so loud also. So right now we said, let's just bring her inside and see how, see, look at her, how she's enjoying that. Oh my words. Oh, snowball. Anyway, guys, so let's head back to the other birds and then I will show you and give you an update. So guys, uh, as you can see, there's a, the two love birds here. Um, as I said, I, I explained, I took the uh, eggs uh, away from them because they weren't also sitting a lot on them and it's getting a bit chilly now. So I need to uh, compromise and take the eggs away from them. And as you can see, there's a lovely sitting there. Um, yeah. So um, today I will boil some rice for them and some vegetable. Maybe I make sweet corn this time. So I have some rice and sweet corn ready for them. Um, I won't put eggs this time, but um, and I don't give them every single time. These foods can be fattening if you give it to them every single day. So I don't give it to them every single day. Maybe after two days or so I will um, give them rice. Uh, so spinach and uh, vegetables I give them as well and just i just changed their water as well yesterday i've given them clean fresh water yesterday for all my birds okay guys let's get to the other side uh, the other love birds and check them out so guys these are the other love birds and as you can see the one that's always enthusiastic about the camera is sitting just close to the camera and the other one she's always on top there and hiding um so like i've explained they've also given us nice eggs as well but um i need to keep them in the incubator you know 
and I don't trust just it being outside as well. I know that uh, sometimes they say, you know, when the birds are outside, they, they're good parents and they look after, but trust me, you can't trust it 100%, you know, it could be, there could be some kind of a cold or anything like that, and uh, the eggs could go bad as well, so I'm not also sure as well how far the eggs have gone. But um, like I said, I will keep you updated in, in a week or so on the eggs and if they made any progress, if they didn't, then that's it, you know, we'll have to try again and see um, if we can get um, the um, more eggs and hopefully we will get babies as, as well. Okay guys, so let's head back, let's, yeah. let's get back on... Uh, looking at uh, Sultan and uh, Tinkerbell and uh, as you can see the cage is also nice and clean as well uh, so yesterday I've done a bit of a renovation in the shed uh, just trying to keep it a bit warm and uh, covering up a lot of places where I felt that you know within some time year or anything like that there could be some uh, holes or anything like that you know within the shed so I need to take proper care of the shed because they are living here as well you know and the smallest of course could affect them breeding as well okay guys so let's head off to sultan and just have a look at him okay guys so this is uh, sultan this is sultan and that is tinkerbell and as you can see he's going crazy as well he just can't sit in one place that's the whole point he just can't sit in one place he has to move and and jump everywhere and uh, so he's he's after the the yellow one snowball who's uh, on top of his cage as you can see so, so naughty he is and that is Tinkerbell so she's also given us eggs as well but uh, like I said they were she she at least was not sitting on the eggs and uh, Sultan interferes with her too much so she doesn't sit sit on the eggs. Um, always fighting with her and biting her so what i did was okay i removed the eggs so that they can sit in peace and she can be in peace as well else he keeps he bites her okay guys so okay guys so as you can see i just had to bring the camera from sultan's cage it's going crazy so she decided to jump on the lovebirds uh, cage and she carries on like she never saw this. Oh my god, look at the lovebird. She's, <laughs> she's scared. She's scared of the lovebird. No. Hey, snowball. Snowball. Hey, hi, Tally. Hi. Oh, you see how she fights with me? As you can see, those two there, but now they are eating. They're having a nice eat at it. So. Snowball! So, sorry guys, that was just the cage uh, closing. So as you can see, two of them, they're sitting. So, Snowball is on top of the, the, her, their cage, you know. I think because Sultan is is not stopping, he's just running after her, and he's you he never sit still once she's in the in the cage here. So <laughs> see how beautiful the colors look, so beautifully tropical. I love the orange head part of them. They're so they're so lovely. Okay, guys, let's see this one. See how she's fighting on me. See? Why are you fighting? Huh? Hey. What do you call her? Snowball. This is my snowball. So, first we've given her the name Snowball. And my little one likes the name Snowball. So he decided he wanted to give the bird another name. Just for the day. And, um, <laughs> oh, look at her, isn't she just adorable? See, look how she looks at me like she wants to charge for me. 
Nyo nyo. Nyo. Okay, guys, so that's it for my birds today. Um, I'll definitely keep you updated on the eggs. If there's nothing, guys, I know it will be a disappointment as well, you know. Uh, there could be a time when they will um, give you uh, eggs and babies and sometimes they just wouldn't. So I think it's just being patient as well, you know, in, in trying times like this. So my birds have given me a lot of um, babies as well. So I do appreciate them and uh, I will definitely take care of them and hopefully they will give me if not this year babies definitely next year okay guys so please like and subscribe to my channel um please uh, thank you so much for liking my channel and uh, watching my videos and hopefully i'll see you in my next video thank you bye